Foot Locker soaring on the back of a big earnings beat driven by women's and kids footwear. That stock up more than 40 percent so far this year. Joining us now in a first on CNBC interview is Foot Locker chairman and CEO Dick Johnson. Dick, welcome back. This was a big beat. You got a lot of congratulations from the analysts on the conference call. Double expectations. Can you tell us more about whether that momentum you're seeing from the consumer is, is continuing at the moment? Well, thanks for having me, Sarah. I appreciate uh, being on. And, and clearly, we had a great quarter. You know, the, the consumer, uh, when they've got money in their pocket, they're out spending with us. And, and we saw a lot of momentum in women's and kids, as you mentioned, uh, in the quarter, but still a, a strong men's business as well. You know, we talked about it on the call this morning, but, but back to school being a little bit more uh, orderly, if you will, a little bit more defined this year versus last year will we'll prove to be successful. You know, again, the, the consumer wants to go back with fresh sneakers on their feet and, and a new T-shirt, new shorts, new fleece piece. So clearly we, we think the consumer is, is shopping in our stores, shopping digitally with us. Yeah, I saw apparel was also strong. When you think about the drivers, Dick, is it is it that... The consumer is just so flush with cash, cash because of stimulus, because they've saved, because they haven't been out shopping, or, or do you credit the products, the Nikes of the world that are just killing it right now on innovation? Well, I think it's a combination of all of those things, Sarah, right? I mean, the, the consumer clearly has some cash. They haven't had as many alternatives uh, given some of the, the COVID restrictions that have been in place that are easing and now coming back in place. But, but truly, it's driven by great product and great storytelling. That's, that's what motivate, motivates our consumer. Uh, they, they want the freshest goods. They look to companies like Nike. They look to Adidas, Puma, you, you know, all of the great brands that we represent. And they want the hottest, best product. And they want to look great all of the time. What, what about Reebok, Dick? Do you think that might get a, a, some, uh, some kind of a reinvigoration outside of Adidas? I think that it will, right? I think that it was a little bit lost in the Adidas portfolio. I think they made the right decision to sell it. And I think that uh, Jamie and the team at uh, Authentic Brands will do a great job with it. And, you know, what we're excited about it. They've got a, a deep portfolio of great basketball product, great, you know, classic product that uh, I think will get some life in, in the new environment. So, Dick, we did see a pretty weak consumer confidence read in the last few weeks, and retail sales fell by 1%. Are you seeing any impact of the Delta variant on traffic and spending patterns? Well, in the second quarter, our traffic was actually up, right? So, again, our, our consumer, when our stores are open, they, they connect with us originally digitally, right? We know that all of our customers come to us digitally, and we're digitally led, and we want to create those great connections. But they end up shopping however they want to shop, whether that is... Uh, truly, you know, clicking on the, the buy button on our, our app or on our website or coming into the stores. And, and during second quarter, we certainly saw that traffic coming in. You know, we, we'll adjust to whatever the Delta variant brings us. And, and hopefully, you know, we can get, uh, you know, the consumers satisfied, you know, through whatever channel they decide to shop with us. Dick, I was wondering how you're thinking about the investment in GOAT and uh, whether you're considering that as slowly but surely more of a sort of strategic partner or instead still a kind of hedge uh, to have a stake in someone that could have become a, a major rival? Well, we, we think that, that GOAT is great for the broader sneaker ecosystem, right? You know, we were very focused on the primary market. You know, GOAT is focused on the secondary market where they bring buyers and sellers together on this high heat product. And, you know, they, they raised a great round uh, this last quarter. Um, clearly, that allows them to expand their their great work, you know, that, that they're doing and get into luxury goods and accessories and more apparel. So, again, we think it strengthens the overall ecosystem and ultimately allows our consumer to have access in what's, you know, sometimes a, a supply constrained environment. They can still get access through other other people that have been able to buy the sneakers. So we, we think that the world of GOAT, we think we've made a great investment, you know, and, and think that they've got a lot of upside. What about the women's business, Dick, which you did call out on the conference call a few times as a growth area? I know that you got a question about it. Kids, I get back to school. But what about women's? How, how lasting is that as a growth driver for you and for some of these companies like a Nike or Adidas? Well, sir, I think that, that we're all doing a better job addressing her. Right. You know, and making sure that we've got the products that she's after. I, I think our team has done a great job of making more space in the stores, telling better stories around the products that we've got in the stores, bringing more apparel to bear. And, and I think we're finally getting some credit for that with her. 
right? I mean, she's a very discerning shopper, a very discerning customer. And we've built our digital connectivity with her to, to make sure that she understands that we've got great product offerings, that, that she's, when she wants that casual look or even dress sneakers, right? I mean, we talked about the, that the last time we were on, that I was on, uh, you know, people have dress sneakers and, and you know, she's able to, to use sneakers and, and the great products that, that we represent from our vendor partners to, to create her look. And, and, you know, I think that it, it is lasting in that she likes comfort you know, as she returns to the offices, she returns to school, mm -hmm. she's got a lot of footwear choices, but we really believe that sneakers have found a new place in her closet and in her wardrobe.